In the previous tutorial, we talked about how to do slice time and correction in SPM through the graphical user interface, but you can do it from the command line as well, and sometimes it can be much faster, especially if you are processing it as part of a batch script. So, first of all, the command itself is called SPM underscore slice timing. So you can click help and you can see all the details about what arguments it needs and how you operate it. Okay. So what it needs here, it needs four arguments. Let me scroll back up. It needs P, which is a list of images. It needs the slice order, like we talked about last time. Did you acquire them interleaved? Did you acquire them sequentially? And provide an array of the slice numbers. It needs a reference slice to correct to, and it also needs a timing vector. And so this timing variable has two values. One is the time between slices, and one is the time between the last slices and the next volume. Okay, so let's cover this step by step. First we're going to talk about p, then slice order, then the reference slice, and then timing. So what we can do here is we can use SPM select to only select the image that we want. In this case, we want to just look at R01.NAI. This was the data set that had been converted from the raw data. And we can assign it a variable name. So let's say file equals SPM select. Okay. One last thing, again, like we talked about in the last tutorial, you can provide a wildcard expression to only select that data set that starts with an R. Okay, so this caret means only select a data set that starts with R01. Okay, so file now is R01.NAI. That's great. So now we have a list of the image that we want to slice time correct. The second thing it needs is a slice order. And in this case, we acquired slices in an interleaved fashion. So slice 1, 3, 5, etc. until slice 35, and then go back and acquire slices 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on until the very end. So let's call this variable slice order, and we're going to use the MATLAB function of concatenating uh, steps of numbers. Okay, so 1 to 35, stepping by 2, and then concatenate that with 2 to 35, also stepping by 2. You can see that the slice order is now 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so on. Until it gets to 35, then it goes back and it collects 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. All right. And for our ref slice, let's just call that 1. Okay. Now for timing, recall that the first element of the timing vector is the spacing between the slices. Okay. So remember, our TR was 2. Let's assign that to that. And our TA is our TR minus TR divided by the number of slices, which is 35. Okay, so about 1.94. So in other words, this is the time point at which the last slice was acquired. So if we want to know the spacing between all the slices, we can divide TA by the number of slices, which is 35, minus 1. Because remember, this is at the point where the last slice was acquired. And let's call that time one. Okay. So about 0.057 seconds between slices. Now, the difference between when the last slice was acquired, which is 1.94, and the next volume, which is when the next TR hits, would be the TR, which is two seconds, minus TA. Okay. So let's assign that to time two, because it's going to be in the second element of the time vector. And again, this is 0 0.0571, shouldn't be too surprising. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can say timing one is equal to time one. And timing two is equal to time two. Now, if we just look at timing, we see that there are two elements in it and 0 0.0571 is in both of them. Okay, so that's all we need. And now we can go ahead call upon the spm underscore slice timing command and give it the necessary arguments. So file, slice order, ref slice, and timing. And so there it goes. And again, just like it did before, you'll get a progress bar in the bottom left screen. Okay. 
Just like we did before, we don't need to wait for it to complete. But that's how you do slice time and correction in SPM from the command line.